Ole Gunnar Solskjaer made it clear to Manchester United that he wanted to sign a new right back. And it looks like Aaron Wan-Bissaka is going to be that new right back that Man United signed this summer. Reports say that Crystal Palace have accepted a bid worth £55 million from United for Wan-Bissaka. But what is the full story of Wan-Bissaka to United. What I'm going to do in this video is explain to you everything that's happened so far between wan Bissaka, Palace and United and what United fans can expect to happen next, hopefully ending up with wan Bissaka holding up a United shirt. Now before we get into it, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe to the channel down below. Hit the notifications bell as well. You get a little ping every time a video goes live. If you're a regular, drop a like on the video. Let's get straight into this one. As far as United fans are concerned, Wan-Bissaka has always been the top target this summer. The likes of Thomas Munier have been linked, more recently Norwich's Max Ahrens, but Wan-Bissaka has been the number one target for United fans and the number one target for the club. And that's a big thing. The club has been aligned in terms of what the fans want here and what is good for the club. And instead of sort of dithering like we normally do with players, we've been quite aggressive in our move for Wan-Bissaka. And it all started off with the first bid, which was rejected by Palace. An initial bid worth 40 million went in earlier in June, and it was believed that that 40 million was made up of too many add-ons and not enough upfront money for Palace, who were holding out more for in the region of 60 million pounds. And it was no surprise really to see Palace reject that bid. Rarely do clubs accept the first bid, especially in a position of power, like Palace have a Wan-Bissaka, they don't want to sell him, and they know that United need him. But United didn't really rest too much. And within a week, we had gone in with a second bid. Now, this second bid was worth 50 million. And reports suggested that was 35 up front with 15 million in add-ons. And again, this was not enough for Crystal Palace, for Wan-Bissaka. They were holding out for more in the region of 60 million. Now, what would United do at this stage after having two bids rejected? We went back in for a third. And that's where we find ourselves. Duncan Castles is reporting that Palace have accepted a bid worth 55 million for Wan Bissaka. No details on how much of that will be up front, but logic tells you that would be more than what has previously been offered. And that United have found a middle ground with Palace on a fee for Wan Bissaka. Now, there are contrasting reports from the Daily Mail that this deal hasn't been done, but there are other sources close to Wan Bissaka who agree with Duncan Castles. So there's plenty of noise in the right direction here. Again, you can take this how you want, but there's a lot of noise and there's no smoke without fire. And it looks like United have finally found the price that Palace agree with, 55 million for wan -Bissaka this summer. Some might say that failing with two bids for wan -Bissaka, going in with a third and basically giving Palace what they wanted is a failure in negotiations, but I disagree. United had to try and go in a bit lower. Ed Woodward, as bad as he is, it's a standard for any salesman. But it, I suppose I'm a little bit annoyed that it's taken this long to get to it. We should have given Palace what they wanted a little bit earlier because we don't have much time this summer. We can't dither over, you know, what huge numbers to us, like five and six million, are small figures to a club like United. But it's good that we finally found a fee for Wan Bissaka. And it looks like he's going to become our second major signing behind Dan James from Swansea. But what can United fans expect to happen next with Wan Bissaka? If these reports are true, when could we expect any sort of official announcement? When could we maybe see wan Bissaka holding up a United shirt? Now, the reality is there might be a little bit of a wait because wan Bissaka is away on international duty with England at the moment. So it's unlikely that there will be any sort of official announcement until he is back from England duty. And when could that be? Now, England have already lost their first game in the under-21s, unfortunately, because of a late Aaron wan Bissaka own goal against France, Crawley. But England play Romania in their second group stage game. If they lose that and France beat Croatia, England go out and wan is back before the weekend. If they don't and they progress, England will go through into the semi-finals, straight into the semi-finals of the under-21s. That's on the 27th of June. If they win that, they go to the final on the 30th of June. So worst case scenario, wan would be available just before United's pre-season training starts. No doubt he would get a, a bit of an extended rest because he's been away on international duty. But these are the sort of dates that we're looking at. And if I'm hedging my bets, I would say that United and Palace, I suppose out of decency for wan Bissaka, would wait until he is back from England duty before anything official was confirmed. Now that's 
my guess, I suppose, and I could be completely wrong. And maybe we'll see an official announcement much sooner than that. But logic tells you that they would wait. And maybe, unfortunately, United fans, we're going to have to wait a little bit longer before there is any sort of official confirmation of this 55 million bid being accepted. But regardless of you know how long we've got to wait, I'm just buzzing at the idea that United have gone out and got their top target in Wan-Bissaka. If only for the fact that we'll never see Ashley Young start a right back for United ever again. Praise be Lord Jesus Christ. That is worth 55 million alone. But Wan-Bissaka, look, he's a fantastic young talent. Showed it last year with Crystal Palace in the Premier League. And one look at his defensive stats goes to show how much of an improvement Wan-Bissaka is on the current fullbacks that United have, both at left and right back. He had more successful tackles last season than Young, Shaw, Dalot, Darmian and Valencia combined. He won nearly twice as many duels as Shaw. He won more duels than Young, Dalot, Darmian and Valencia combined. And defensively, he was phenomenal last year. You could say from a strictly defensive standpoint, he was the best right back in the Premier League. Now, there's lots to learn for wan Misaka going forward. Absolutely. He needs to improve on his crossing. He needs to improve on his ability in the final third in terms of final decisions. But if I'm signing a right back for United, I want him to be a good defender first. And wan Misaka ticks that box completely. And it's not as if United didn't have much defending to do last season. We conceded more goals in the league than we had since the 70s. So wan Bissaka's defensive numbers there up against our players. A goes to show how shit they are. And B goes to show how impressive he has been. And yes, as I said, he, he's nowhere near Trent Alexander-Arnold or Kyle Walker going forward. But at 21, he's got years of progress ahead of him. And whoever signs him, looks like United, have got a real talent on their hands and someone they can nurture and help improve. And wan Bissaka was previously a winger prior to him being converted into a right-back. So he does have natural attacking tendencies. And maybe Crystal Palace wasn't the right team to get that attacking ability out of him. And maybe he can express himself more at United. But I'm just glad that we're going to sign a good defender. First and foremost, that's what a fullback needs to be. And that is exactly what wan Bissaka is. But I really am very excited to see wan Bissaka play for United. Because at 21, you know, he's a great talent, homegrown, humble, hardworking. He's taken his opportunities that he's created himself through hard work to get to this position. And they are the sorts of characters that United need in a lazy, lazy team. We need to transform that lazy work ethic, get rid of it and replace it with the attitude of players like wan Bissaka and hopefully Dan James as well. I can see what Solskjaer is trying to do in this summer transfer window. And I haven't really been able to say that about Mourinho, Van Howe, or Moyes. It was a scattergun approach. It seems like United are buying players for the right reasons, or certainly for a specific set of reasons. Whether you agree with them or not, there's a logic to them. And I am excited to see wan Bissaka playing for United. Now let me know what you think about wan Bissaka in the comments below. You know, do you think he'd be a good signing? Do you think the fact that he's not as good going forward at the moment is a bad thing? Or do you think he's got enough room to grow? Let me know what you think in the comments. Before I finish the video, a quick shout out to United Report for letting us use their fantastic wan Bissaka edit in the thumbnail. Thank you very much, guys. Make sure you follow them on Twitter, at UTD Report. But until next time, take it easy.